This is probably near one of the grossest blogs I will ever do. This is Parasites. Um, and I'm showing you how to get them because the regular stool samples don't catch them. And you can see there's one along the bottom, kind of a thicker one. And then there's a ton of little ones in the middle clumps, and then there's one going down from the top to the middle. There's teeny, teeny little curly ones you can see in there. And um, there's one, shoot, right there. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of small, but it's curly, curly cute, yeah, you can see it. Anyway, those are parasites out of my colon, and I'm going to show you how to get them, okay? I tried the regular stool cultures, nothing came back, um, and it came back negative, actually. And we did three, and then we did, um, I sent some in that I got out of my stool and they came back no known human parasite and then I sprayed some stuff in my throat and scraped my throat and got some out of my throat and it said no known human parasite but I know there's parasites so what I did was I pooped in a bag of course wear gloves for this and I don't know if you can see it but they just cling to the sides of the bag so you kind of mix a little bit of water or saline they like saline and the reason the other ones came back now there is one on there I don't know if you can see it um, sometimes they move, sometimes they don't move. But anyway, there's one on there right now, and then I just open the other bag and I swish it in the normal saline. But I'm going to leave it right there for a minute because I only have one handle on doing this. But you can check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com. So I'm going to open this, squirt some normal saline in it, and then you've got to be careful because they don't like you can't put them in hot water or you can't add hot water. It's got to be like body temperature. Let's see if I can get it in there with one hand. Having a problem. Anyway, I'm just showing you that I just used. Okay, let's see. I can get it in there. And then I just swish it around in the saline. And they come off. And they like to grab onto things. So, yeah, it's off of there. And this is really gross. I really did it over the toilet. But, see. So, so they're, they're in there and they're just gross. But when I put them in alcohol and sent them up, came back no known parasite. And when I sent them in, so I prayed about like what to do because I, I didn't know what else to do. And normal saline was what I figured out. And when I did it in normal saline, then it came back um, to the parasite that I have. And the parasite that I have is it's an insect parasite. It's called horsehair. Is it just common name and it's a nematode nematomorpha um, or Gordian and because when they get together and I saw this the first stool specimen but they didn't see anything in there and I read later that a lot of times the chemicals in the stool samples will cause a problem so anyway um, they like grabbing on so like I just swirled it around you can see it's coiled on the oh you can't see it it's coiled on the end of this I, they just you just have to kind of swirl it around because they will grab onto anything in there and if I put something next to it that it could grab onto it would move more I don't know if you can see let's try if I can get it see if I can get it moving and you can see it um, it's really gross but at least they've diagnosed it finally Oh, can you see that? It's moving. The top is... I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't look like it. Maybe if I put it against something dark. Okay. So, um, you can see it. it's kind of like it doesn't like the position that it's in and so it's moving. And, um, Anyway, if I put it in normal saline, it will actually live in the saline, and then when you send it up to the lab, you can, they can actually diagnose it. But if you put it in alcohol, um, I had no luck. If you put it on tape, I had no luck. And if I put it on, um, in the stool cultures, I had no luck. Three stool cultures came back negative, and I could actually see probably four and five inch worms in the stool. Um, the reason that these ones are not that long and the reason they're called horsehair, it has nothing to do with horses, but it's because they look like horsehair. Let's see if we can get it to move some more. Um, they look like horsehair, 
Let's see. Um, so people call them horsehair, and they are called. Um, oh, there it's moving. Gordian knot because they cluster and knot together like like a snake. They're kind of like a snake would. Like there's those snake balls, and it's kind of like that. So anyway, I'm gonna put it in there. So check out my my um for the symptoms of this parasite. It's not normally known to a human. Um, so check out my blog. I'm gonna put it under, it's, right now it's under strongyloides, but it was the wrong type. It has all of the symptoms of strongyloides, um, which is called threadworm, but it is not. It's this other one that they've diagnosed finally, because the medication for the threadworm is not working for me. So hopefully they can figure it out. And the reason they're smaller is because I soak my hands every week or so in uh, hydrogen peroxide and that kills the nymphs and the lymphatic stage. So that's why I don't have as many larger ones, thank heavens. But anyway, uh, thesecretsgratitude.com and hopefully if you have the symptoms that I have, you can, I'll put them on a different post. And if you have those symptoms, then you can, I should put tape next to it. They don't like tape very much. Um, well, they like it if it has your skin on it, because that's how they find you, is they like to the acid on your skin like threadworm does. Anyway, I can't do it with one hand, but, um, you can look up the symptoms, and I'll probably do a, a video with the symptoms on it, but this is how you get them out of there. All you have to do, I could swirl it in there 50 times, and, and these worms would just kind of cling to it. They just kind of cling onto something. It's a little waterlogged, and I've been swishing it around, but... Anyway, you can see clearly on here that there is some, and then I double bag them. So, I don't know if you can see them. I double bag them and take them over, you know, keep them in the fridge in the saline. And then when you take them in, they can, sometimes they'll be alive swimming around. So, good luck.